Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries in John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. In light of Genesis 6, the sons of God, fallen angels, and the daughters of men, the women, uh, having relations and having giants born to them, well, there's uh, another thing going on. That video that I posted by uh, Face uh, Like the Sun, The Age of Deception, uh, spoke about uh, the fallen angels doing stuff with uh, sinning against animals, which I totally can believe that they were doing genetic experiments all the way back then. Uh, people had no clue what that was talking about. For example, now I don't use the book of Enoch. I don't use the book of e Jubilees, but this kind of stuff is mentioned in them. Okay. Uh, and where did the Egyptian gods get, you know, a human body with a head of a bird and the minotaur and the centaur, you know, centaur was a, horse's body and from the waist up was a man minotaur was a man's body with a head of a bull you know where do they come up with this stuff i don't know but uh, there's a place uh i forget what country it's in but if you look it up ubaid u-b-a-i-d they found figurines of what looks like uh, lizard type people. That's what they call them, lizard men. Where do they come up with these ideas? Now, people argue and say, well, you know, uh, angels, blah, blah, blah. But let me explain something to you. There were, there are different classes of angels. Okay. When Daniel saw angels, uh, when Abraham had the angels that went to go see Lot in Sodom and Gomorrah, they called them men. Matter of fact, the men of Sodom wanted to have uh, play with them in the bedroom, if you catch my drift. They look like men. I mean, Ab uh, Sarah even made uh, bread and uh, uh, meat for them. You know, they had lunch or dinner or whatever. And then there are, there was an angel that had, um, what was it, the head of a bull, the head of a man. I think it had four faces. I forget what all the faces were, but uh, it had, now I'll have to look it up because I don't want to be accused of, uh, not giving you the right information here. But there was another in the book of Ezekiel. Uh, some of the angels had wings. You know, it had three sets of wings. One for the head, one for the middle, and one for the feet. All right, in Exodus 25, 20, it says, And the cherubims, which is a type of angel, and the cherubim shall stretch forth their wings on high, covering the mercy seat with their wings, and their faces shall look one to another toward the mercy seat, shall the faces of the cherubims be. Uh, cherubims is plural of cherub. Uh, Satan was called the anointed cherub. I forget where. I'm not sure if it was in Ezekiel or Isaiah. But I truly believe that uh, Satan was one of the cherubs on the, the mercy seat. So. All right. So you had cherubim. And then in Isaiah chapter 6, you got seraphims. Uh, one starts with a S-E-R-A, seraphim. The other is a cherubim, C-H-E-R-U-B-I-M, or, or close that. Isaiah 6, 1. 
In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood the seraphims. Each one had six wings, six wings. With twain he covered his face, and with twain he covered his feet. With twain he did fly. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And I say amen to that. So they got six pairs of wings. So, you know, there are different types of angels. All right, let's take a look at Ezekiel chapter 1. Verse 1, And it came to pass in the thirteenth year, in the fourth month, in the fifth day of the month, as I was among the captives by the river of Chebar, that the heavens were opened, and I saw visions of God. In the fifth day of the month, which was the fifth year of King Jehoiachin's captivity, the word of the Lord came expressly unto Ezekiel the priest, the son of Buzai, in the land of the Chaldeans by the river Chebar, and the hand of the Lord was upon, was there upon him. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud, and a fire enfolding itself, and a brightness was about it, and out of the midst thereof, as the color of amber, out of the midst of fire. Also, out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures four living creatures and this was their appearance they had the likeness of a man and everyone had four faces four faces and everyone had four wings well this one's got four wings the one we read before had six and their feet were straight feet and the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot. And they sparkled with the color of burnished brass. And they had the hands of a man under their wings on their four sides. And they four had the faces and their wings. Their wings were joined one to another. They turned not when they went. They went everyone straight forward. As for the likeness of their faces, they four had the face of a man and the face of a lion on the right side, and they four had the face of an ox on the left side. They four also had the face of an eagle. Thus were their faces and their wings were joined upward. Two wings of every one were joined one to another, and two covered their bodies. All right, so you got angels with six wings. Four wings, you got seraphim, cherubim, uh, you got angels that look like a man. I, you know, it's just, uh, well, let's take a look at that. Well, if you want, you can read. All right, let's prove that uh, angels can sometimes look like men. Uh, Genesis 19. Uh, here we go, verse 1. And there came two angels to Sodom at even. At even, the evening, and Lot sat in the gate of Sodom, and Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face toward the ground. And he said, Behold now, my lords, turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house, and tarry all night, wash your feet, and ye shall rise up early, and go on your ways. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. And he pressed upon them greatly, and they turned in unto him, and entered into his house, and he made them a feast, and did break, bake unleavened bread, and they did eat. But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, compassed the house round, both old and young, all the people from every quarter. And they called unto Lot, and said unto him, Where are the men which came in to thee this night? Bring them out unto us, that we may know them. Oh, yeah. Uh, we, we don't want to get acquainted with them. We want to know them carnally. Yeah. Uh, the rear entrance, if you will. 
But, uh, <laughs> you know, you could keep reading this on your own. And uh, the angel struck them with blindness. So, you know, sometimes angels look like men. Sometimes they look like uh, four-faced uh, creatures. Sometimes they have six wings. Sometimes they have four wings. But the point I'm trying to make is, are there other classes or types of angels that we don't know about? Are there serpentine type looking angels? I don't know. Uh, the gods of Egypt had all kinds of weird looking things. Uh, I mean, you got, uh, I think, the, you know, the head of a bird with the body of a man. But these, they call them the lizard people, the, um, those pictures, uh, the u braid. And according to a newspaper article, now I don't know if it was like the National Enquirer back in the day, but I've heard stories that there's underground caverns and cities and blah, blah, blah. I don't know how true that is. But from ancient times, not just uh, recently. How much of that is true, I don't know. But there was that newspaper article uh, in L.A. where they found an underground thing. I don't know how true that is, but, you know. So, according to the book of Jasher, they, uh, it says they sinned against uh, birds and creatures. Now, I don't know if they were, uh, some of these images were uh, genetic manipulations or whether they were, uh, you know, genetic manipulations by the fallen angels or were they... Um, types of angels that just aren't mentioned in the Bible. I don't know. But, you know, these people made carved, these carved images or figurines, they had to have some kind of uh, a guide to go by. You know, they just don't carve these things for no reason, generally. Uh, like gargoyles. You know, uh, there's gargoyle statues all over the world. Matter of fact, uh, let's see. In Wikipedia, Wikipedia, they have an article called "List of Reptilian Humanoids." Uh, these are mythology. Uh, Boreas, B-O-R-E-A-S, uh, Greek god of the cold north wind. Uh, Cecrops, first king of Athens, half man, half snake. Dragon kings, creatures from Chinese mythology. Uh, Jin, Islamic mythology. Echidna, E C H I D N A, Echidna. There's a creature called that, the wife of Typhon in Greek mythology, half woman, half snake. Fuzi, serpentine founding figure from Chinese mythology. Uh, the Gorgons, Greek mythology, you know, serpents for hair. Um, Lamia, child devouring female demon from Greek mythology. Half woman, half snake. Naga, reptilian beings, king cobras from Hindu mythology. Said to live underground and interact with human beings on the surface. Nuwa, N-U-W-A, serpentine founding figure, Chinese mythology. Shen Long, Chinese dragon, thunder god. Um, Sobek, Egyptian crocodile-headed god. Um, T-I-A-L-O-C, Aztec god with uh, a man with snake fans. Typhon, father of all monsters in Greek mythology. Had a hundred snake heads. Um, yeah, Wadjet, uh, W A D J E T, snake goddess, lower Egypt, half snake, half woman, Z A H H A K, uh, a figure from Zoroastrian, Z O R O A S T R I A N mythology, 
uh, grows a serpent on either shoulder. Uh, Zoroastrian was from uh, the area that's now Iran. Uh, let's see. And of course, you got Genesis 3, right? Or I'm sorry. Um, that uh, old serpent of Genesis 12. Yeah. So what about that? Well, let's read it. Revelation 12, 9. And the great dragon, 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 was cast out that old serpent, old serpent, called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Is there a serpent, people? I don't know. Uh, genetic manipulation, a type of fallen angel. Are they illusions? I don't know. But uh, why would people go to such great lengths to um, make these kind of carvings? And where did that newspaper clipping come from? You know, I don't know. And uh, did you notice the eyes on that carving? They were slanted? Yeah, it makes you wonder. I don't know. I don't know where they come up with this stuff, but um, all I know is uh, we couldn't even we didn't even know what DNA was until the fifties, nineteen fifties. Crick and Watson, C R I C K and Watson, W A T S O N. I think they co-won the Nobel Prize. Uh, I I believe they had to uh, the electron microscope had to be invented before they even could figure out what that stuff was. Uh, it's basically uh, a uh, chemical operating system, as they say, right? So, I don't know. Something to think about. So, uh, let me see here. All right, in Enoch chapter 7, verses 3 through 5, it says, Who consumed all the acquisitions of men, in other words, uh, everything that mankind grew, uh, they were eating. And when men could no longer sustain them, the giants turned against them and devoured mankind. And they began to sin against birds and beasts and reptiles and fish and devour one another's flesh and drink the blood. Oh yeah, Satanism back then, even before the flood of Noah. In Jubilee 7 and verse 21 through 25, we read, For owing to these things, uh, three things, came the flood upon the earth, namely, owning, owing to the fornication wherein the watchers, the angels, uh, against the law of their ordinances, went a-whoring after the daughters of men and took themselves wives of all which they choose. Uh, Genesis 6 people, right? And they made the beginning of uncleanness. And they begat sons, the Nephidim, and they were all unlike, and they devoured one another. And the giants slew the Nephil, and the Nephil slew the Eljo, and the Eljo mankind, and one man another. And everyone sold himself to work iniquity and to shed much blood, and the earth was filled with iniquity. And after this, they sinned against the beasts and birds and all that moves and walks on the earth. And much blood was shed on the earth. And every imagination and desire of men imagined vanity and evil continually. And the Lord destroyed everything from off the face of the earth because of the wickedness of their deeds and because of the blood which they had shed in the midst of the earth. He destroyed everything. So there you have it, people. Is there a race of... Uh, crazy stuff going on genetic manipulation even back then well just remember something king solomon said there was nothing new under the sun keep that in mind nothing new under the sun all right all blessings praise glory and honor to god the father and his only begotten son jesus who is the christ the lamb of god slain from the foundation of the world all blessings praise glory and honor in jesus name Amen.